Hey YouTube, what's going on? It's Dion from MyFunWheel.com and today we are going to go over battery connections for the M Super. Um, I have two customers that wanted to install their own batteries. Um, one of them is a long story and then the other one, um, since I'm shipping it to Israel, we have to send the, because of customs clearance issues, we have to send the, the unicycle first and then I'll send them the battery. So those are the, the two specific situations. Um, so what you want to do when you're connecting or when you're, it, it, oh, let me, let me, um, let me specify. It is the 850 watt hour. Uh, so it's the maximum battery capacity that the M super, uh, has at this, at this time. I, I heard something about thousand watt hours or one kilowatt, uh, a, little, a little bit over one kilowatt. Uh, was a, my daughter's in the background. That's, that's fine. So <laughs> my daughter's talking to my friends, but, um, so yeah, come on. Come on over. Uh, can you play it this okay, so uh, yeah. okay. for the Gotway um, M Super 850 watt hour battery pack is it consists of three batteries. So we have batteries. Um, I, I call them A and B and C. Some people call them batteries one, two, and three. Either way. Um, so you have batteries one and two. Um, this one's rated at 340 watt hours. This one is rated at 170 watt hours, and then you have the additional 340 watt hour battery. Um, and those three are all connected in parallel to make for a nice 850 watt hour battery. Uh, you get some incredible range. Um, we did a test, and and I got 38 point, I believe it was 38.7 miles, and I was kind of driving fast, you know. So if you just cruise, you'll probably get somewhere close to 40, 42, I'm, a, I'm 190, 185, 190 pounds. Um, and, and it was able to take me about close to 40 miles. So really, really good battery pack uh, for those of you who have the M Super. So, so I just wanna go over um, how to connect the battery to the harness because that's kind of the scariest thing. Like you get this harness and you're like, oh, I have three batteries and I, I have this, these two like little harnesses and I don't know what goes where right so so for reference we're gonna go over each one separately that way you guys can know exactly how to connect so um, can you get a little bit closer just so they can see thank you my camera person is behind the camera it's my wife say hello what's up <laughs> So, uh, yeah, she's, she's doing the filming today. So, all right, so you have this wiring harness. Now you have three, it looks like you have four connectors, and you do, um, but you have three batteries that are gonna connect to these uh, female uh, inputs here. So each battery will have a male XT60 connected, all right? And you will, locate on the harness your three female inputs so female 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 right and then that is your male which goes out to the board so this is going to go into your um you know your motherboard or some people call it the main board um, some people call it the pcb which is printed circuit board so uh, a lot of different names, but it's a, you're the brain, basically the brain of the whole the whole um, electric unicycle. So locate the three female, oops, the three female ends, and go ahead and connect. Battery one, battery two, or those of you who like alphabet, battery A, <laughs> battery B, and then I I'm not gonna open up C. Just because I'm just gonna, it's pretty self-explanatory. The the 170 watt hour battery looks just like here, just like this one, a little smaller, right? And that has its own output that's gonna go right in the right into there. They're all connected in parallel. So that means um, there's there's two ways to connect things. That you have series and you have parallel. In this particular case, uh, this is parallel. 
So once you get those, all three of those connected, you're wondering, what do I do with this harness, right? So this harness is uh, the charging circuit. So this is how you get your energy back into the battery after you've you know, ridden for you know, three hours or so, three, three and a half hours. Um, so, and it's the same deal. You've got three female inputs. I hope we can, I hope you guys can see that. Okay. So on this harness, you have three female, three female ends. And then on each battery, you will have a male corresponding end that goes. Now these, this particular connector is cool because it only goes one way, but you definitely want to take note of red and black. You know, red will be your, your positive terminal and black will be your negative. So you want to take note of that. We don't want to short anything out, right? So once I line these up, just like that, you can kind of see on the, on the end, it's difficult to see, but they will connect just like that. So look, I have positive on my, uh, that'll be your right, my left, and we, so we, and they snap. They snap in just like that. So you'll do that for all three. So you'll do that for battery B, battery A, and battery C. Once you get all those connected together, you'll have the two male outputs, and those will connect into your board. So your 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 main board will have a female uh, input where you'll you'll click that in, and your main board will also have the XT60 female. Uh, input and you'll click this in. Once you're clicked in, you're good to go. The configuration for the M Super, your M Super panels are like this, right? And then they bolt in, you know, one side, left side, right side. So you will stick your batteries onto this in this configuration and kind of kind of play with the, you know, stuff the harness in. Once you get everything like buttoned up real tight, then you can, you know, screw them in. And that's it. So just make sure you do not short these batteries out because uh, there's a lot of voltage there. 67, 67 volts, 67.2 volts with no load. And uh, the electrons will heat stuff up real quick. I, I've done it. It's not fun. You know, it, instant welded, you know, metals are welded together. Like I've accidentally just touched it for a millisecond. Just and the whole thing sparks a shower of sparks. <laughs> Sparks, and then your battery's done, and then you got to spend four hundred dollars on a new, you know, battery. So, uh, so just be really, really careful, and uh, and you'll be up and rolling in no time. All right, this is Dion with MyFunWheel.com. Hopefully, this helps some of you guys out with battery issues, or just just you know the ones that are kind of tentative about getting in there, because uh, it's really, really simple. Actually, once you understand, or once you kind of break it down, it's, it's actually really simple. It's just you don't want to make mistakes with. With when the voltage is, um, it's not necessarily really high voltage, uh, but but it's enough to to cause some damage. So, all right, okay. Have a good night. Thanks for watching.